everybody. Thanks so much for joining me for another cocktail video. I hope you enjoyed the gin and tonic from two weeks ago. So I'm going to make you one of my absolute favorite gin cocktails and it was my first favorite. It is the French 75. Um, long ago, I used to help out at Iron Horse in the tasting room and the way we would get our bubbles to stretch further when we had more people is we would mix it with lemon and gin and make French 75. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I've since perfected that recipe and um, it's gotten much better. So I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite French 75 with Indira Gin. I make this gin. I love this gin. It's um, super botanical rich. When you mix it with lemon, like in this cocktail, it really makes the lavender shine. Um, it's got some nice spice to it too, which makes it so when you pair this cocktail with food, you're gonna end up, um, uh, I, I guess I could say you're gonna end up in heaven. It's uh, one of those pairings, especially seafood, crab louis salad, oysters, smoked fish, um, just really, have some fun with food pairing with this cocktail. So I'm gonna start out woo, with three quarters of an ounce of lemon and just pour that in your shaker. And then I'm gonna double that proportion and do one and a half ounces of gin. And then we're gonna put simple syrup in there. And if you've never made simple syrup, it's really easy to make at home and you can keep it in the fridge for a long time, like at least a couple weeks. Um, so I like to use my kitchen scale so I can get that measurement really, really right on. So it's just equal parts water and sugar, and I'm going to use a half an ounce of that. So that was three quarters ounce lemon, one and a half ounce gin, and then one half ounce of simple syrup. So then we just add ice and we shake it and we pour it into our champagne flute. Then top with bubbles. So this is pretty simple. And so, so fabulous. So, that was ice. Shake it. You can go anywhere from 10 all the way up to 30 seconds, but you know, get it nice and chilled down and watered back. Woo! Not the best with that whole. Ah! Where are my bartender friends at when I need them? Ah, oh, there you got it. I'm an amateur bartender. That's why I can show you all this and um, <laughs> I'll show you what I know. I don't know everything. I promise you that. But I love learning. I'm a super curious person and um, that's, people always ask me how I ended up being a distiller and how did I learn to distill and I just tell them I'm really curious and if you're really curious about something, you can learn just about anything you want to learn. So maybe I did Maybe this glass is a little too small. I'd like to add a little bit more champagne than that, but um, that's all that I have room for right now. And one thing you should be careful of is not to pour your champagne too quickly, because I can't tell you how many times I've overflowed my French 75s, but I like to get lots of champagne in there. And this glass, I don't normally stir them, but I kind of want to give it a little stir. There we go. Because I normally do them in a coop. I love them in coops, but this is what I had out here in, we're in my guest house right now, if you're wondering where we are. This is where I store the botanicals, and um, I just thought it made a nice spot to show you what I'm doing. So right behind me are the botanicals that are in the Indira Gin. So we're, I just um, got a little sliver of lemon here to make a little um, garnish, and that's it. That's how you make a French 75. Easy as that. I hope you try it at home and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Whoops. Cheers. <laughs>